Hey guys, Nurse Blake here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our new study guides not on YouTube. Click the link right up here anytime during this video. All right, let's begin. Scotty is a 17-year-old male who presents to urgent care with complaints of chest pain upon deep breathing and lying down, a temperature of 100.9, and reports pain when swallowing with the history of TB tuberculosis. OMG, what could it be? And what does the NCLEX want you to focus on to help treat this patient? Today we're wrapping up pericarditis. What happens when the little heart sac around the heart gets stretched out during inflammation and irritation? All right, let's break down the medical definition. Peri means around, card is heart, and itis means inflammation. Pericarditis is a condition where there is inflammation of the fibrous sac surrounding the heart. Now nearly all major organs of the body have a protective layer that surrounds it, protecting it from minor traumas like from jumping or running. I like to call these protective layers little Ziploc bags, just like when you put your peanut butter and jelly in a Ziploc bag to protect your sandwich. Well the heart has a protective layer too, something called the pericardium. This pericardium is double layered, containing a small amount of fluid to lubricate the heart while it beats. When this pericardium, AKA our little double layered Ziploc bag gets inflamed, we call it pericarditis. There are two types of pericarditis. One, acute pericarditis, which can last up to several weeks. And two, chronic pericarditis, which can last over six months. Also called constrictive pericarditis, which is more serious. The inflammation lasts so long that the sac around the heart becomes thick and hard. So why does the sac become inflamed? It's usually because of a viral infection or dead scar tissue from a heart attack that makes the heart stiff and hard. This in turn inflates the little sacs around the heart, putting loads of pressure on the ventricles, making it difficult for the heart to pump out oxygen rich blood to keep your body and tissues alive. Because remember, oxygen is the money of the body. No money, no honey. So no oxygen is no life. Your body will just go broke and die. In severe pericarditis or acute setting, the inflammatory process itself produces fluid, leading to effusion and cardiac tamponade, where there is extreme pooling of fluid, filling the pericardium to a dangerous level, kind of like overfilling a water balloon around the heart. And all this overfilling adds pressure on the heart, which makes it extremely difficult to pump out oxygen-rich blood to the body. In medical terms, this means less cardiac output, less oxygen to the body, and no oxygen means no life. Now. Constrictive pericarditis is the chronic long-term condition building up over six months. This condition is characterized by a thick, hard, dense, fibrous pericardial thickening. Basically, the inflammation in the pericardium sac lasts so long that it causes scarring. And over time, it forms this hard shell around the heart, making it difficult for the heart to expand and contract, which again, makes it hard to pump out oxygen-rich blood to the body. Okay, now what are the causes of pericarditis? Well, 50 to 80% are unknown. We call it idiopathic, meaning we're- Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click up right here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts for helping us make these great videos. See you guys next time.